The Ford Tractor Engine Assembly. This video is brought to you by Just 8 Ends Ford Tractor Parts and Restoration Service. This procedure details the assembly of the Ford engine found on tractors built from 1950 to 1952 with serial numbers 263, 844, and higher. This engine variant is distinguished by having the distributor mounted on the side of the engine block and is known as the side mount engine. This procedure assumes the engine block is completely assembled as detailed in a separate video. Assemble the flywheel by press fitting the ring gear on the flywheel. Press in the pilot bearing and the flywheel assembly is complete. Align the flywheel to the crankshaft dowel pins and mount the flywheel to the crankshaft. Install the dowel and bolt retainer with four drilled head bolts and then lock wire the bolts together as shown. Mount the fiber clutch disc to the flywheel by inserting the clutch alignment tool into the pilot bearing. With the fiber disc held in place, carefully mount the clutch pressure plate and cover assembly with six bolt and lock washer assemblies. Then remove the installation tool. Install the oil filler tube and the breather cap assembly, followed by the oil dipstick. Screw in the coolant drain peck cock in the side of the block. Install the oil filter tube fitting in the oil port, facing as shown. Screw the valve cover mounting studs into the block, then place the valve cover gaskets on the block followed by the valve covers. Fasten the covers with a nut and lock washer. Mount the manifold next. Screw in four studs in the block, followed by the gaskets in the manifold. Fasten with four brass nuts and lock washers. Place a gasket on the governor and mount the governor with two bolts. On the other side of the block, attach the oil filter with two bolts. Connect the oil filter to oil port tubing. And then the oil filter to governor tubing. Next, mount the starter motor to the block with two long screws and lock washers. Mount the carburetor assembly to the manifold with two nut and lock washer sets.
Attach the carburetor to governor control rod to the fitting shown. Install three water pump mounting studs in the block, then place the water pump gasket and cover over the studs. Assemble the fan to the water pump with four bolts and lock washers. Then attach the water pump to the block with three nuts on the studs and a bolt in the top mounting hole. On the side of the block, install two generator bracket mounting studs, the generator bracket, and two nuts and lock washers. Mount the generator clamp to the bracket with two bolt and nut assemblies. Put a bolt with lock washer through the adjustment slot in the clamp and tighten. Before mounting the generator in the clamp, note the locating pin that mates to a hole in the generator case to properly orient the generator. Fasten the clamp with a socket cap screw and washer. Assemble the ignition coil bracket and mount it to the cylinder head with two bolts. Place the side bolt through the spark plug wire bracket. Place the coil in the bracket and tighten the bracket screw to clamp the coil in place. Insert the distributor into the front cover. If the distributor doesn't insert all the way, there may be interference with the distributor drive gear. Rotate the crankshaft and or the distributor shaft one way or the other until the gear teeth mesh and the distributor drops in. Fasten the distributor with a bolt, washer, and lock washer. Install four spark plugs in the head. Then connect the ignition coil to distributor wire. Attach the number one spark plug wire to the terminal labeled with a one on the distributor cap. From this terminal, in counterclockwise fashion, attach the number two plug wire, then the number four plug wire, and finally number three. Add the grommet over the wires if not already installed. Attach the timing hole cover. Place the fan belt over the pulleys and the engine is now completely assembled. To see more videos from Just 8 Ends, Remember to like and subscribe.